Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Pete and in this series we try to complete The Sims 3. And this episode is one of those filled with progression. We have two lifetime wishes being fulfilled, we have a few promotions and we also have two birthdays. And before we jump into the action, we can spend a few lifetime happiness points with Paul. First of all, we will grab the Dirt Defiant lifetime reward and then also Hardly Hungry. That should save him the occasional trip to the shower and the fridge, coincidentally the exact two things that he's going to start his day with. While Paul takes a shower, Ahisha takes care of her granddaughter and snuggling Pauline fulfills a wish for her. Then it's time to give Pauline something to eat, while Ahisha teleports over to the next spot where she can catch some bugs. Back at home, Paul has finished his shower and is currently having breakfast, while at the other end of the house, Chastity wakes up and spends a few minutes with the Logic skill book. Only a few minutes though, because after breakfast, Paul will join her in bed to raise his fun bar again. Afterwards, just a few more seconds of reading are enough to get Chastity to level 3 of the logic skill, so as her husband Paul spends a bit of time on the computer working from home, Chastity can clean out the potty chair that Pauline has just used. Then it's time for her to grab breakfast and for Paul to stop working and start playing. His fun bar is almost maxed out, but we want to get that back up to the maximum, so that we can get maximum performance at work. Alright, a couple of minutes later, Paul's fun bar is where it should be, so let's teleport our freshly baked mayor over to City Hall and hopefully get another promotion. In our little garden, we now see the first of Patrick, and if you remember in the last episode I already mentioned it, he only needs one more perfect plant in his garden to complete the perfect garden lifetime wish. Before he completes that, however, he first completes the Botanical Boss Skill Challenge. A quick look in the skill journal reveals more. Patrick has now harvested 75 perfect fruits and vegetables, which means his plants are now less likely to die. And while we're here in the skill journal, let's also look at the plant list. And if we sort that by quality, we can now see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 perfect plants. So congratulations, Patrick, on completing the Perfect Garden Lifetime Wish. Now, since Patrick's social bar is also in need of a bit of attention, we will now have him talk to one of his plants. That will raise his social bar and is an interaction that is available because he has the green thumb trade. And I think that's enough for the moment, so let's now have Patrick pay the bills. Once again, grab something in the mail that goes straight to the family inventory. And then he can take a well-deserved shower. Now the only thing that we need to take care of is his hunger, and what better way to fix that than with a home-cooked meal. In the background you can also see Chastity, who is once again reading the logic skill book. Now let's take a quick break in the action and buy a birthday cake, because we're going to age up Pauline a few days early. She has almost learned everything she can as a toddler. Of course, there are still a few skills that she could pick up on, but she will likely never need those skills in the path that I have planned for her, so we are about to age her up to a child. Before we begin the celebrations, however, let's quickly check in with Paul, because his workday at City Hall just came to an end and as expected he gets another promotion. Paul is now a governor, which means he has reached level 8 of the politics career, and his next workday is tomorrow already, so that might hold another promotion in store. For the moment though, let's jump back home, where Pauline is about to have her birthday. Wonderful, Pauline is now a child and that means we can pick another trait for her. And with her hopefully becoming an aspiring criminal, what better trait to pick than Kleptomaniac? We will likely not be able to use this much as long as she is a child, because Kleptomaniac is designed to be used at night, and right now we would be getting in trouble with the curfew there. <laughs> With Pauline now a child, we can remove the entire toddler inventory from her room and replace it with another bat. A single bat would have done the trick as well, but at least in the base game there is no single bat that provides as much energy regeneration as this one. 
Now for a short moment let's focus on Paul again. To make sure we get another promotion with him tomorrow we definitely need to get the funding up. So let's throw a quick campaign fundraiser. You're Jesse Madu. Alright, I have invited as much people as possible. We will start the thing as soon as possible. Let's send out the invitations. Mm. Gorbzo. Zebzy milk Gorbzo. Meanwhile, Chastity is now arriving at the theater where she will now play another concert. It seems like she has not given enough performances yet, so with the day off today, we plan to fix that. With his gardening work done for today, Patrick is now fishing at the science facility. One more fish that he hasn't caught yet is the vampire fish, so hopefully he can catch one here. At home, Paul is working again, at least until the fundraiser party starts, while a very tired Pauline will now take a nap. Tomorrow is her first day of school, so we want her to be rested for that. Alright, a good 45 minutes later, we get the message that Patrick has improved his fishing skill to level 9, while Chastity adds another performance to the list, which still seems to be not enough to max out the work performance requirement. But since she does not have anything else planned for today, we might as well just play another concert straight away. Back at home, the fundraiser party has started and Paul is already busy telling jokes. I want to keep this thing short, however, so that is why after a good hour, Paul can tell all of his guests to leave again. Over at the spa, Ayesha has also finished another day in her part-time career and she will now continue to collect. The fundraiser party was short but effective, we have now maxed out the funding work requirement, so let's make sure Paul gets that promotion tomorrow and have him work from home for a few more hours. Over at the science facility, we can see that Patrick was successful in his quest to catch a vampire fish. He has actually caught two, that means we will now change fishing spots. At home, Pauline has taken a nap and a shower, and I think with her being a child now, we can have a look at her outfit. Now Pauline is going to become an aspiring criminal, that means she should probably have a bit of a dark side to her, and her new everyday outfit kind of incorporates that a bit. Her formal outfit keeps black as the main color, but also adds a bit of red, and that red is also prominently featured in her sleepwear. Her athletic outfit is once again a mix of black and red. I am not super satisfied with this at the moment and I will probably have another go at it in the next episode. For her swimwear I decided to switch things up a bit. Some bright orange flames on a black background. I think that's a lovely small detail. Meanwhile over at the theater, Chastity has finished another performance. And we could do one more but let's send her home for today. At home Pauline will now head to bed in her new sleepwear. While Paul finishes two hours of working from home and can now begin to write again. He has been working on a romance novel for quite some time now. And maybe we will be able to finish that today. In the meantime, Chastity has also made her way back home and is now grabbing something to eat. As we get the message that Ayesha has caught a spotted beetle, and the look at the collecting skill journal tells us more, there's only 2 out of 10 unique beetles that we haven't found so far with her, so I think we're doing quite well here. After dinner, it is now time for Chastity to spend a bit more time with the logic skill book, and a bit later, while Ayesha returns home and goes straight to bed, Chastity reaches level 4 in the logic skill. That means not only Ahisha but also Chastity will now go to sleep. And since Paul is not only getting tired but also a bit stressed, I think it's time for him to do the same. A good one and a half hours later, Patrick also returns from his fishing trip. And that means with everyone at home and about to go to sleep, we can skip ahead to the next morning. The first one awake is Pauline and she has the wish to learn the logic skill. In theory, she has already learned three levels of that, however, those will only show once we have her interact with something that improves the logic skill. So the moment she sits down and opens the logic skill book, we can see her logic skill jump up to level 3. That fulfills a wish and we can now proceed with breakfast. Now I actually thought about changing her hair, but then again I really like the look. It is something slightly different. So instead of a makeover, let's have her just play a few computer games to raise the fun bar before school starts. Then once again, just like yesterday, we can head into the buy menu and buy a birthday cake. 
because the next person awake is Chastity and today is her birthday. And surrounded by her family in a lovely small celebration, Chastity now ages up to adult. No traits or any major changes for her, so let's continue with business. Chastity can have some cake for breakfast while Patrick heads back to sleep. His energy bar is not filled to the maximum just yet, and he finally has another day of work today, so we want him to be somewhat rested for that. While the Hisha hops under the shower, Paul and his daughter can improve their relationship a bit and also increase their social bars. Then Ahisha leaves for another round of collecting, while Paul and Chastity begin the day in the somewhat usual fashion. <laughs> Afterwards, it's Chastity's turn to take a shower, while Paul can entertain Pauline with a few jokes, which will help us bring him closer to the last remaining skill challenge in the Charisma skill. And now a quick problem I just discovered with Chastity. It seems one of her band members has been replaced and by someone she doesn't know yet. However, since we're actually the owners of Chastity's place of employment, we can simply head into the Fire Sim overview and get a nice list of everyone who works here. And as we can see, two of these people are complete strangers to her. So let us now use another small trick. If we go into edit town mode and then select a household and then select split up the household, we can get a nice overview of every single person who lives in that household. In the case of Mr. Unger here, that's not a problem because the household is aptly named after him. But if we for example have a look at the Glenn household, where only one person is actually named Glenn, this small trick becomes a lot more useful. And since we now know where Mr. Einstein Unger lives, we can teleport Chastity right to his front door and hopefully improve their relationship a bit. With Ahisha, I made her take a quick stop in her collecting trip, send her over to the stadium, and as you can see, we just bought the place for 80,000 simoleons. That leaves us a bit short on funds for the moment, but I'm sure the money will come in eventually. For example, from another promotion for Paul, who is just about to begin another day at work. And that means for Pauline, her first day at school is also about to start, and we will have her at normal effort to begin with, no need to completely exhaust her. In the meantime, Chastity has been invited inside Einstein Unger's house, so let's begin to build a bit of a connection between the two. Back at home, Patrick is now finally well rested and back in the garden, and our special seeds seem to be growing well. Not only do we have a money tree, but also several death flower plants, so we should be able to cheat death quite effectively from here on out. Not that I want to, but having the option is always nice. While Patrick has been working, Chastity and Einstein have progressed to friends. That is still not enough to max out the band member's work requirement, so I have a few more interactions lined up. And while I was about to issue another collecting order for Ahisha, we get a wish for Paul. And a very interesting one at that, we could get an instant promotion for Paul if we manage to become enemies with Marvin Keaton. Now, an instant promotion is equal to the completion of the politics career, that is, if he gets promoted to level 9 today. So I think this is a very interesting wish, we haven't really made enemies in this playthrough at all. So yeah, let's take it. And here we are, Einstein and Chastity are now good friends, that fulfills a wish for Chastity, but more importantly it's also enough to max out the work performance requirement for band members. So let's quickly jump back to Patrick, who is currently filling his social bar by talking to one of his plants, and then gets another easily fulfillable opportunity. I think we have way more than three outstanding fruits and vegetables in our inventory, so accepting this opportunity really is a no-brainer. Now back to Chastity, I want her to perform one more concert today before work starts, however we can only perform concerts after 3pm. And to kill a bit of time until then, let's just have a play for chips. And after his tour through the garden comes to an end and Patrick has taken a quick shower, I think it's now time to fulfill that opportunity. So Patrick will now leave to deliver a few fruits and vegetables to Dale Hintz, and we can quickly jump over to Paul, whose workday comes to an end. And as expected, here is the second to last promotion in the politics career. Only one more to go before we complete that career path, and we just grabbed a nice opportunity to make that happen. On the top right we can also see Patrick has cashed in his opportunity and has now already started work. 
We will have him hang with his co-workers today because he's pretty much guaranteed the promotion anyway, so we might as well build a few of his relationships while we're at it. Now a nice limousine brings Paul back home, where he can instantly call his hopefully soon-to-be enemy Marvin Keaton and invite him over. <laughs> and then the first day of school for Pauline comes to an end. Really not much to talk about here, but it is a nice reminder that it is now 3pm. And that means Chastity can now stop playing for tips and start playing a concert. With her work shift starting at 6, we just have a small window to squeeze that performance in, so we want to get started as soon as possible. After returning home, Pauline will instantly begin her homework, while there is still no sign of Marvin Keaton, and so Paul can continue to write. And just half an hour before her work shift starts, here is Chastity with another performance in the books. Sadly, still not enough to max out the related work requirement, but maybe if we send her to work early, she can get the promotion anyway. I am not quite convinced though. Now Pauline has finished her homework and will now begin to play some chess. That will not only raise her logic skill but also her fun bar and seems like a good choice for those two reasons. At the spa another day of work for Ayesha comes to an end. Well, it was only three hours but still. And she gets the first of two promotions available in this part-time career. That also fulfills a wish for her and equipped with all of that she can now continue to collect. And speaking of promotions, here we are now with Patrick, whose shift at the restaurant comes to an end. And just as expected, he gets promoted to 5-star chef. And that not only fulfills one wish for him, but it also fulfills his lifetime wish. So he earns 39,000 lifetime happiness points, and we can mark the celebrated 5-star chef lifetime wish as completed. That is the second lifetime wish we complete in this video, the third one overall for Patrick, and number 17 of 32 for the entirety of the base game. At home, Ahisha has returned and has begun to clear out her inventory by sending away a few gems to be cut, and we can now continue to make a bit of space and directly sell the things that aren't worth being sent away. She can now grab something to eat and we can jump over to Paul who just finished his novel. It's a bestseller and we get a nice amount of cash and royalty payments, and with that we're only just a few simoleons away from completing the speedrider skill challenge. Let's also have a look here, we have not yet written a fantasy novel, so I think that's up next. Our 5-star chef has also returned and is currently preparing dinner for himself, while Pauline has played enough chess for today and can now head to bed. And the same is also true for Ayesha. Now let's quickly head into the family inventory, because part of completing the culinary career is also this nice fridge. This fridge cannot be bought in the game, and it is substantially better than the one we have, so let's quickly exchange the two. And for now, Paul will put his writing efforts on hold and will be the very first person to test the new fridge. Meanwhile, Patrick has eaten, but his day is not over yet. Instead, we will have him fish for lobster, another fish he hasn't caught yet. Over at the theater, Chastity's workday comes to an end and sadly she won't get a promotion today. I'm thinking about grabbing the workaholic trait for her, which might help us in that regard, but then again I only have two career paths planned for her, so we should also be fine without it. At home we can already see Paul has gone to bed and just a few moments later Chastity will join him. And here we get the message of the day, Patrick has caught a lobster, so I think there are only two fish left for him to catch. For now, however, he can return home and go to sleep and we can make a cut here. I think this episode really picked up the pace in terms of progression and I hope to continue where we left off next week. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.